Welcome to Team Int Universe, I'm Utrim X, and it's time to put some garlic on that pizza because we're going to go on the hunt with vampire killer Van Helsing Splinter. So let's go. We are back again with another TMNT Universal Monsters mashup from NECA Toys. This time it is Splinter as Van Helsing. I'm not sure this is what I would have picked for Splinter, but I guess since he's the older, wiser mentor of the Turtles, it makes sense because within the Monster Universe, an old, wise mentor who's on the good guy side is Van Helsing. Since it's the Universal Monsters, I'm assuming he's supposed to be the Edward Van Sloan version of Van Helsing who appeared in both Dracula and Dracula's Daughter. But to be honest, his style seems to be a mix of the Hammer Films Peter Cushing version of Van Helsing and the Hugh Jackman Van Helsing. To give you a better idea of what I mean, let's take a closer look. And here it is, another TMNT and Universal Monsters crossover. This time it is Splinter as Van Helsing Ultimate Action Figure. I keep saying it, but here is another beautiful piece of artwork by Daniel Horn with a very distinguished looking Splinter. I actually really like these glasses on him. The side of the package is pretty much like all the others. We have the picture of Splinter and the name Van Helsing in that Splinter colored burgundy, similar to his cartoon robe, much less the movie and the comic book. And unfortunately, I have a little scuff right here. On the back, we have a couple of callouts Splinter as Van Helsing, Trouble with Monsters, Call the Rat with the Hat, Marvel at the Razor Sharp Rodent, Cunning with a Crossbow. He has the tools for taming terrors. Master of Ninjutsu, Hunter of Vampires, Slayer of Shredder. Now, that last one makes me wonder if we are ever going to get that Shredder Dracula that was rumored a while ago. We never got any actual confirmation that that figure exists. Uh, maybe it's being held up for some reason, or maybe it will be in the next wave with Wolfman Raph and Creature from the Black Lagoon Leonardo. But this definitely makes me think Shredder will be Dracula. And as always, we're going to look at the bottom of the package and thank these people who have brought us these awesome figures. You guys killed it. And if you ever forget what's inside the package, you've got this handy dandy accessory list. And opening up the front flap, as always, we get an image of Van Helsing Splinter with all of his vampire hunting gear. And over here we have his window box with him laid out with all of his accessories. But I'm ready to get my hands on it, so let's check him out. And here is Splinter's insert backdrop. It looks like we have this English study with a bunch of books in there. I can't quite read any of the titles. We also have a cool phonograph and leather chair. A suitable home for a monster hunter. This one could really be used for long-term display, especially considering it is on the thicker cardboard. And I think I prefer the thicker cardboard because you could actually glue this inside of a wooden box, make it a little more permanent, maybe even light it a little bit from the top. Really just go crazy and get creative with it. And speaking of getting creative with it, here is Van Helsing Splinter. This is a really good sculpt for this figure. This particular figure has these extra long arms. I think they're longer than the other Splinter figures are. And down under this tattered robe, he has these fairly spindly little legs. I know it's a small detail, but I'm always amazed at the texture and realistic look to things like this leather coat that NECA are able to achieve. Even the texture on this fur collar is pretty realistic. This bandolier has some places for stakes, and around the back he has a quiver to hold his arrows. He does have a bendy tail, which this is one of the stiffest bendy tails I've seen on any of these figures which might be a good thing because you can curl it around and maybe it will help him stand up, which is always helpful with these tall, thin figures. He also has some little leather gloves. These are kind of cool. They're purple, but the ends have, I guess, holes in them where his claws are sticking out. 
I like how they kept Splinter's robe kind of poking out here from underneath the coat and it's around here at the back. And of course, all of the clothing is made out of that flexible rubbery plastic. He has ball socketed hips that give you a little bit of movement, but the robe will kind of block a lot of that. And these are some very thin legs. These knee joints make me a little nervous, so do the ankles, so you might want to be careful and not break it. But let's take a look at the head. Unlike some of the other figures that come with hats, this one is attached to this head, as well as the glasses. And that hat casts a little bit of a shadow over the face, hiding how good this sculpt really is. Now this version of Splinter is based off of the movie version, as if the Jim Henson puppet was Van Helsing. Moving on to some articulation. Now he has these long arms that do come with double elbows and those double elbows are very tight on my particular figure. I really don't like double elbows. I, I don't like how they look or the weird fat joint they create and it seems like they are not using them in their newer figures. But I really wish this had been a single elbow. The belt and quiver accessory that is attached to him will have a tendency to move around when you move the arm but there is a peg and hole here on his back. So you can plug this quiver right into here to keep it where you want it as you put the accessories in it. The head on this figure is ridiculously stiff. He can kind of rotate a little bit and look up barely. It's almost pointless to have any articulation there. He does have a waist swivel. At the arm, he has a rotation and a hinge. He also has the double elbows we talked about, and down here at the hand, he has a rotation and hinge there as well. So you'll be able to get some poses at least with the arms. And as far as the legs, there's a little articulation, the ball socket hip, the hinge at the ankle. You're not gonna get a lot of posing out of this. It's basically a statue, but that's what these figures are, posable statues, right? There is this tiny hinge here at the ankle, and he does have a little toe hinge as well, so you can bend the foot back if you really wanted to, to kind of get that uh, digit grade rat foot, I guess, or to just put him in a walking pose. And the peg holes for this figure are up here in the toe. And honestly, looking at that, I'm not 100% sure, but I think his feet are on backwards. These I mean, I could be wrong, but to me, it looks like they should be switched to the other foot. Let me know in the comments if you think my Van Helsing Splinter's feet are switched. So that's the rundown of the actual figure. Let's look at his accessories. So he comes with an alternate portrait, this one with no hat if you want to go with that look. But it does have the glasses attached. Does this look like the original Van Helsing? Well, Van Helsing doesn't have that many unique characteristics, so adding glasses and a hat, I guess I'd say yes. A little bit of a disappointment, but I think that this sculpt is just the head from the regular movie line version of Master Splinter. Which is a little bit of a shame considering the amazing unique sculpts from all the other characters in this line. And something that's always appreciated with these tall, thin figures is Splinter Van Helsing comes with a stand. Between this and the bendy tail, you should have no problem standing your Van Helsing Splinter up. And for weapon accessories, we have this little hunting knife, a random accessory you can use with just about any figure, which is always welcome. And it does have a nice metallic paint on the blade. And you can't kill vampires without wooden stakes. So this splinter comes with three splinters. The sculpt on them is actually pretty good. It has a nice wood grain to it. And for paint, there is a little bit of dry brushing on the end to give it that raw, fresh cut wood look. And with these, he can kill at least three vampires. And here we have this really cool crossbow which does have a slightly bendy rubber line to uh, knock an arrow, but I would be very careful because if you pull back too hard, it will snap off of these points. But they put a lot of detail into this little weapon. And for that crossbow, we have these three wooden tipped arrows with no arrowheads, but they do have some nice detail on this fletching at the bottom. These are very tiny accessories, so to not lose them, they should fit right into the quiver on Splinter's back. 
He does have two specialty arrows, I'm calling this one the grappling hook arrow. You would tie a rope around the shaft, shoot it over a wall, and it would hook on and allow him to scale up the side of Dracula's castle. Really good sculpt on this small accessory. And another specialty arrow is a garlic arrow. So basically, it's three cloves of garlic skewered through an arrow, which is funny because vampires hate garlic. I love it when they do little humorous things like this. And of course, he comes with a pair of gripping hands to hold the crossbow. And a pointing hand, and what I'm going to call a sign of the cross hand, because in old movies when they would ward off a vampire, they would do the priestly sign of the cross. But that's just my interpretation. Let me know what you think this hand is used for. Just like all the others, this is a fantastic figure, and I really hope that we get a Dracula Shredder for this Splinter Van Helsing to fight. Well, that's one more figure down and brings us closer to the end, so join me next week when I do the last two reviews for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters crossover from NECA Toys. Until then, later dudes. With the old new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Universal Monsters Master Splinter S. Helsing comes with everything you see here. What a picture perfect family of fright. <laughs> From NECA. Hey guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to kick that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Turtle Tuesday, so you can always come back to see what's new. You can also check me out on various social media, links in the description. And as always, for all things Turtles, check TMNT Universe.